Xin chào Hoi à. welcome to Vietnam This old town is exceptionally a well-preserved port dating back to the 15th and to the 19th century and way back and this has been well-preserved here through to the UNESCO World Site Heritage. Currently we are here experiencing the buzz about this place. Why Huyan is so beautiful? I don't know, maybe because it's just the people and the surrounding itself and the color, the sights and everything. Look around you. People here are just so friendly, giving you the best of Huyan. At the moment, around night time, the roads will be closed and we will be celebrating a lot of lights and sounds here. We will also experience the food and so much more. A little bit of street food here, mm -hmm. so we'll see how it tastes like. I'm thinking about like getting one of these octopuses. Ah, oh. I'm not quite sure if they're going yeah, to same with me. <laughs> That's <Thank> good, <laughs> right? So you're gonna try these ones, right? Yeah, we're also getting like this, like this other thing there, yeah, yeah. What is it? So these are embryo of. Of eggs. Ah, okay. No, okay. I think it's more of like cultural Asian. It's called balut okay. something. So that's why I have it. Oh. I think these are small ones are quail eggs. Yeah. And these ones are duck eggs. Oh, okay. Oh, you should try. Ah, I don't know. Come on. <laughs> it looks a bit strange, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I really want you guys to try out the street food here in Hanoi because there's so much a lot of things here in Hanoi especially the street food and I love the flavors the texture of it I think this is the only place where you can eat proper Vietnamese food the street food in Vietnam is quite really good you just have to be careful what, what you want to eat you know if you have allergic reactions or any dietary requirements you just have to ask them beef and Beef very good. Wrap in what kind of? Wrap in what? Yeah. Pandan leaf. Yeah. Pandan? Yeah. How much is this? 20. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> is that herbs? Wow, cool. Alright, it's time to test this out. Ah, look at that. We do have here, what we have here, they said this is beef. Beef wrapped, there's more of these um, vegetables here to the side, maybe just to balance the taste. And this one is very, very interesting. So there is some sort of like, you know, an embryo. So this is quite very hot. Um, they put it in the grill to heat it up. So this is a complete pieces of oysters, embryo of oysters. This is the first time to try this one. I've tried the dark one, the, the big one, but these are the small ones. If you look at this one, it looks so yummy. Look at that. Can you see that? That's the embryo. This is the grilled octopus we just ordered a while ago. They grilled it and then they actually cut them off all together just to make them easier for everyone to eat because you eat with this stick, right? Easier to do it. I think it's hygienic to actually just pick it with this small stick. So let's try. Two options here. These two are pork. I don't know. I think this is more of like a sausage pork and this one is real pork. So look at these ones, and oh, I like the stick on it. Look, look how they prepared it. To so just chuck the um, meat inside it, cut it open, and then put it inside, and just grill them. And this one as well, as you can see, this is a lemongrass. They put it on a lemongrass and then grill them. So we're gonna try each one of them, which one is better. But I'm sure both of these ones are better. We will see. Maybe I'll try this one first with a lemongrass steak on it. Hello. The street food always here every night? Yeah. Every night? Yeah. Okay. It starts what time? Uh, 
10. 10 a.m. Uh, finish at 10 p.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it starts 7 or 5? What time do you start today? Uh, 4. Yeah, no. 3 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. so it starts here at 3 o'clock. So this is the reasons why they've been here. Do we ever get a chance to visit the Poyan? These are the street foods area here. Look at that. There you go. We also want to travel here to Huyan. There are places where you can eat as cheaper as you can, or you can also eat in the restaurants where it's more a bit costly. We'll try some food here in the street food, and we're having this banana. Um, what do you call this one again? Banana. Uh, rice banana. Rice, rice banana. banana. And also this one is. Uh, pizza Vietnamese and same same rice paper. Rice paper. A rice paper pancake style okay, Vietnamese. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, there is a quail egg and in there. Yes. Yeah. A quail egg. And so interesting. So we will try this one, see what it tastes like. But yeah, so let's go around and check out this one that she is preparing. Okay. So look at how she cooked it. She cooked it like that. Look. Oh, you know what? I tried this one before in Sydney and I love it. It has a bit of a different. Um, texture in it and also it has to have a sauce no sauce no sir. just plain oh, there we go you have to eat it on a plain um, rice paper like these ones and I'm sorry and, uh, and, uh, and no salt and a uh, big shot uh, chili a and chili but, uh, uh, mayonnaise and uh, tomato yeah, tomato okay there we go you can add a little bit of mayonnaise chili sauce and um, tomatoes and I think tomatoes, she said tomatoes. Okay. And also, what they do is they also grill the sticky rice, banana. Rice, banana, and uh, coconut milk. Coco and ah, coconut milk. And rice. Oh, yeah, so you have to put a coconut milk in there and a rice. So, this is what it looks like now. Yummy. Ah, yummy. Yummy. So we're gonna try the food now, the street food here, and I order the pan rice pa paper pancakes. They called it. It's a vegetarian, so it's good for you. Um, let's see. Let's try it now. Mm. It's so good. It's so crunchy. Just a bit, a little bit of a chili in it, and also. An egg but I love this one I tried this one in Sydney before and I love it but it was a different feeling it has a bit of a meat a chicken thank you we have got it I'm so excited to taste this so let's go and eat sticker rice and inside the sticker rice there's banana topped with coconut shredded coconut um, meat and also I don't know this sauce it's like a sticky sauce maybe it's also coconut so we will try a bit that's good tasty and there's also look at that there is peanuts yum peanuts there's peanuts in there if you can see it from the lens <laughs> so we will try this one and see if it's worth worth it mm, get the banana but not the sticky rice mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm. good it's good I had an overload of sensory because I just don't know where to look at I could either look at everything many things happening at once and it's an overloading of sensory from the smell the scent and the smell of the street food the lights the people ah the language itself is just so different and you feel like you've been transported to a different dimensions of, of Vietnam making it more possible to really understand what it looks like before and what it looks like right now 
I finally made it here, so I was looking for a bun me and this one pops up into, into my search. So this is the bun me Fong. Took me about probably 20 minutes just to walk from the old area to this side of the street. It's uh, it's not a long walk, but a few of those ones are just, you know, this little street. This is the banh mi fong. And I want to try this one tonight because I'm craving for banh mi. And look at these ones. Ah, banh mi is currently 30,000. 30, these are the prices. And look at that. They made it fresh for you. So I guess this is beef. And I don't know what this one, maybe some sort of a pate. And another one of these ones. And another one of that one. It looks very interesting. Very famous place really to eat your banh mi and try here in Hoi An. It's quite really busy tonight. But it closes at 9.30 p.m. And I guess they open early in the morning because a lot of people mostly on the daytime buy spawn me for breakfast or maybe lunch. They're so quick, they're so quick to produce banh mi, I think because the numbers of people who are buying are just so many. So you need to be really quick when when making those banh mi is ready, available for, you know, customers. And um, I'm, I'm so impressed. I think they've been making banh mi for longer now. Also an English version, you can also look at that menu in there. So I don't know what to eat, but I'm thinking of eating something with um, a barbecue or probably pork. Yeah, I'm gonna get the banh mi tit yo kue. It's called in English. It's bread with grilled pork. I think they're famous for banh mi here. And look, look at the people buying banh mi. It's full. It's full. Yeah. So we've ordered the banh mi. This is the famous banh mi here in Vietnam, and you know this is um, we're, we're making it a hype this time because it, it's one of the talk in town, and a lot of people are buying here, especially in daytime. And this is something that I want to try when I come here because banh mi means sandwich, but however it's filled with it's filled with meat, whatever you want, like chicken, beef, or whatever. So this is the famous banh mi in Vietnam. My goodness. Wow, wow, wow. Now I wonder why it's famous here in Hoi An. This banh mi is so good. I think I can eat five of these in one go. Oh, mmm. Mmm. My God. It's just faultless. It's so good. It's just you know it, when you eat them, it just melts into your mouth. But then the taste, the delicious crustiness of a meat inside your mouth, just melts it all away. Especially with everything, such as these ones, so good. The fillings are quite really delicious. So let's go and eat. So make sure when you're here in Hoi An, visit Ban Mi Phong. They're famous in these ones, Ban Mi. Can I order a Ban Shou? Ban Shou, one. Uh, um, what, what's the filling? Do you have... One Ban Shou. Yeah. One. Yeah, Ch chicken? What's the side? What's the uh, filling of Ban Shou? Chicken uh, the, the, uh, and... Uh, uh, chicken? So we've ordered a ban show. Yeah. How do you say yeah. ban show? Yeah. Ban show. So ban this yeah. is yeah. so this is a pancake, a um, Vietnamese pancake with um what's inside is a chicken and chicken. Yeah. yeah some vegetables in there and also you have to cut this. Yeah. Right? This video is sponsored by Jackie Vietnam Travel and they are a very young travel agency in Vietnam located in Hanoi and they're the best young team that will provide you a tailored needs during your stay in Vietnam. You can contact them through the link in the descriptions below so you can actually talk to them 24-7 customer service. They're very good, they're prompt and also they have they are the best in Hanoi so you can 
enjoy the beauty of Vietnam and also give you the best access to Vietnam. Thank you Vietnam and thank you Jackie Vietnam Travel for sponsoring this video. A different one. <laughs> this is amazing. This is how you do it. Oh, this is. Wow. Mm -hmm. Roll it up. Hi. And, and eat. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we will try yeah. this one. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay, we have a chili yeah. sauce. Same, same. Okay. Same. Okay. <laughs> right. Chili sauce, maybe. Okay. Chili Yum. sauce. Yeah. Yum. 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 Want some? Try. You sure want to share? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mong. Mm. Sweet. Mm. Nice. Mm. Nice one. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm. Hey. <laughs> yeah, so good. So good. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> we keep on coming back here. This pancake is so good. Thank you for these fab fabulous ladies who've helped us how to set this up. Amazing. So friendly. Also, one of the famous um, drinks here in Hui Yan that you should try is Mot. Um, I don't know how to spell it, but I'm going to put it on the description and link below so you can actually see it. Try it when you are in Hoi An. So this is currently the crazy fuzz about this one. This place is also one of the popular and famous drinks here in um, Hoi An. You see it from the background here. There's a lot of people here in the daytime, but here at night time, there's also been fully packed. There's a lot of youngsters. Who really wants to get a little bit of a drink here to try their tea, which has actually have a green tea leaves on top of it with a bamboo straw that make it really special and different. See what's inside and get something to drink. It's very packed. I'm trying my best. <laughs> Better? Yeah, this is the name. Mot. Yeah. Mot. 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 Right. Pronunciation. Yeah. Right. There you go. Mot. <laughs> Thank you. We're gonna go get inside and check. This is the reason why Mort is so popular because of these guys. Sorry, can I get your name? <laughs> My name is the same. Name Mort. of the cup. Our oh, name of the cup is. Oh, that's why. Now uh -huh. we understand now. So when you come here and visit um, Hoyan, look for Mort. Right? Did I say it right? Yeah, Mort. Mort. There we go. And this is exactly what his name converted into a business. And look at that, it's blooming business here in Huyan. Thank you so much Thank for you. sharing Thank your you. expertise with this drink. Thank you. Can you tell me exactly what's in there? Uh, the main ingredient is the lemon. Lemon? Lemongrass. Lemongrass. Uh, honey, little. Honey. Uh, cinnamon, ginger. A cinnamon, ginger. Green tea. Green tea. And some other special ingredients. Oh, that's a secret. secret. That's a secret, yeah. of course. Everybody has a secret in terms of their food. There you go. Now you understand what's inside. It's an herbal drink. And, you know, I've been here all, every night and drinking it all the time. Thank you. Thank you, Maud, for sharing this. Thank you. Thank you. So we're bringing you another one of the famous cafe here in Hoi An. Um, it's also one of the fuzzier when you visit Hoi An. It's called the Cafe Rang Zhe or Five Fo Cafe. And this is a pure Vietnamese coffee. If you find one here in Hoi An, let's, you know you can visit and get something to drink, such as strong coffee of Vietnam, which will actually, you know, give you a bit of you know taste of Hoi An. Now, this place is open from 7 a.m. until 9.30 p.m. at night, every day. But look at this one. This place is so beautiful. I mean, the interior itself will tell you that this place is it's just awesome. It's um, very relaxing, very accommodating in terms of how they handle the customers. And look, it's here. There's a cost of coffee roasting every day that you, can, you have to try. Now look at this place. Welcome to Five for Coffee, guys. Let's go and check out and buy some coffee and try the Huyan coffee. Our 
traveling to Hian, one of the food destinations you want to try is the Kumga. Kumga nga. Number three on my list to try because they have chicken and rice and also the pork plow. That's what they called it. Um, these are the shredded pork with dried, not dried, but with noodles in it. So this is one of your number three destination aside from the banh mi and also some of the pork noodles here in Huyan. This place is also very popular for tourists alike so they can also try the traditional food of Vietnam, especially here in Hanoi. Look at these people who are eating inside. Um, they're actually very busy on the daytime but I came here at night time so it doesn't be so fully packed with people. And it's also good if you want to go and see the lights, the lantern lights at night. So you can also, you know, eat first, so you get full and, you know, enjoy a long walk to the side of the river to enjoy the lanterns, the lights into the old town of Huyan. And yeah, this is just a place where, you know, everywhere here is so accessible. The place is so famous for 32 years. So I'm gonna put the name of this restaurant in the link description below. So we're getting into behind the scene and how they make the food here. You know, they're so famous with Kum Lao and this place you should try and visit here in the next travel. And you know, you shouldn't, you don't have to limit yourself on eating too much banh mi, but of course you have to try different foods such as the noodles they've served. And that is the beauty of it here. So you gotta try the taste of each food, you know, because your food, taste and everything, all your senses connects to your brain and it turns out to be a memory. So let's go. I'm behind the scene now and I'm so excited to be part of these um, collaborations with Kumga restaurant and during this time you know they're so popular here with so many people on the daytime lining up just to try Kum Lao as part of traditional Huyan or Vietnamese food and these exactly what they have so they're famous for the pork and also the chicken here the chicken I don't know how they make the chicken so good but it looks like they preserved it and then make it they garnish it with something else I don't know oil or yes yeah, so much things going on the flavor and the texture in it oh it's just so good um, look at all these ingredients they have these ones I think it's like more of like a smoked chicken and then try to I don't know I don't know how they do it but you know every time I film food like this I still don't know how to make it on a proper way and I don't know how they make it taste so good for everyone to enjoy so exactly these are the things they do these are the chicken if you see Now look at that, they chopped the chicken. I think the knife is so sharp. Wow. She's so skilled. Look at that, so perfectly cut. There you go. And now it's been ready to serve for the new customers. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without everything on it. Ah. It's a chicken salad. Ah, a chicken salad. Yeah. Ah, they, they serve chicken salad as well. Look at that, they just shred the chicken like so easy. I think it takes a lot of skills and talent and years to produce this kind of of skills. Ah, look at that, shredded. So what's the name of the dish in Vietnamese? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ah, there we go. I hope I can speak Vietnamese so I can understand properly and you know the intonation is different. But look how good she is in shredding the chicken. It's so easy. It must be the chicken so tender now that it's just easy to shred them. But look at that, it's they're pretty well very good and they're holding the chicken with um, gloves so it's easier for them. 
it, it's just easier for the ends. Oh, it's just so much in it. The aroma is so good. A little bit of soup. Maybe a chicken. Yeah. And look at that. Perfectly, perfectly well seasoned all together. Oh wow. Now with a little bit of laksa leaves and also coriander, prepared and served to the plate. And this is what it looks like now. Wow, wow. Oh my god, that is so good. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> this is just so good. Oh, mouth watering food experience. Oh, this is better than anything else. So, this is how you prepare. I'm still trying to chew the chicken, and yeah, exactly. Exactly what I want to tell you guys. Visit this place. Try their food and you will be surprised how delicious it is. The noodles and how they make it. Now you've seen it behind the scene now. It's up to you now. So when you come here, visit Tuyan and visit this place. It's just easy walk. Use your Google map to find it. It's very easy to find it because it's just in the old town of Huyan. So you can finally, you know, try it like me. I've tried it, it's good, and I love it. Xin chào Ho Yan, thank you. Thank you everyone. Thank you everyone. That's it for tonight. As the sun goes down, the lights of this ancient city of Ho Yan emerge from a different perspective and a different angle and views for your eyes to see and for you to experience the beauty of Ho Yan an ancient city that you must visit and enjoy and also learn their traditions and live like a locals here in Huyan and also as the night passes down the whole town of Huyan must rest and recover from a very very long day now it's night time the shops are closed and ready for the next day for another adventure.